Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of Nespresso content as well as unboxings and reviews of products that will help make your life easier. Today we are doing a Nespresso unboxing, so I'm pretty excited. I got some special things from Nespresso, so I'll show you first some of the new pods. So this is actually a repeat from last year. Um, it's the gingerbread pod, and I think I have a video from last year tasting it, but we can do another one this year if people are interested. And I think it's just gonna be the same as last year. And then I also, I must have dropped it over there. I got the peppermint pinwheel as well. And that's this one. So this has been around for a couple years now, at least three, maybe longer. And it's definitely a really fun one for the winter time. Gingerbread, I feel like is winter too, but a little bit fall because of the spices. So those are exciting. And then I also have some new stuff to share. So they had this, uh, I think this is the holiday chocolate that they released. It is a dark chocolate with bergamot and pink peppercorn flavors and it has 40 dark chocolate squares so it's a really pretty like lime green with like pink polka dots made in switzerland this will be interesting i don't know if i'll like it but it'll be interesting to try with some recipes and i also i don't know if this was like a glitch but i got the nespresso advent calendar in the mail and i did get two this year so my husband and i can both open it but I am going to open everything so that we know what it is this is going to be a spoiler and maybe we'll even get some of the new holiday pods that we may not be supposed to have yet and try them so let's do that I will unbox it so this is it it was $55 this is for Virtuo and it does have on the back I think what everything is it has 17 capsules of roast and ground coffee, three capsules of flavored coffee, two of artificially flavored, one decaf, one blend. So 24 total and then usually there is like something at the end, like a cup or something. They don't really say anything about the collaboration this year, but it's Nespresso times Fusap. Uh, or Fusalp, sorry. I don't know, I think maybe that's a brand. I'm not exactly sure. But I think because it's like the Alps, it's like an Alps brand, because there's like mountains on the front, maybe, a, maybe an outdoor brand, I don't know. But this is what it looks like when you open it. And then there's a box that comes out. Oh, there's like a little, um, it has like the best by date, but there's like a little thing at the bottom. That helps you take it off easily so that's nice um so it kind of has the same pattern inside just with the numbers and we're going to open all the numbers let's start with this i don't really understand like having to mix them up like it seems unnecessary but here is number one and then it also has like the description on this side. It says festive black double espresso. So this is one of the new ones. I am going to be trying this. This is what it looks like. It's the double espresso size. And then we have number two here. So this one is Altisio. I'm gonna leave that one in there. Three is. Intenso, so that's a coffee size, 7.7 .7 fluid ounce, and Altisio is a espresso size, so that was a 1.35 fluid ounce. And four, are you one of those people that does up, counts up or down for advent calendars? I've always been one that counts up, and I feel like for this you have to count up because the big prize is at the end. Ooh, four is the frosted caramel nut flavor. I am very excited to try this. I think this is a coffee size. So it has this really pretty pattern. It kind of matches the other one. It's like an off-white with like a gold pattern. And this one has a gold pattern too, but it's dark blue. Anyways. Double espresso dolce. So that's a like 2.7 fluid ounce, I think. Um, definitely a good one for lattes. Let's find day six. Next to day two. 
This is the Barista Creations line Bianco Piccolo. So that's a single espresso, 1.35 fluid ounces. It says four milk. So that usually means like it goes better with milk and definitely it does. Day seven. This one is Melozio. So that is a 7.7 fluid ounce coffee size. And then we have day eight over here. So this is the Sweet Vanilla. It is a Barista Creations line. So they don't give like the intensity of that one, but that is a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce. I do have a video trying that. And a lot of the other pods on my channel, there is a like Nespresso pods playlist on my channel. So check that out if you're interested. Day nine. Voltesso. This is like the lowest intensity of the single espresso size and it's the 1.35 fluid ounce. So that's day nine. Let's look for day 10. We have another new one. So that is the Seasonal Delight Spices flavor. And it is a coffee size, it looks like. So it's like a really pretty red with that same pattern around the side. Day 11. This is the Roasted Hazelnut. So again, I have a video trying these. They released like a new Barista Creations line this year and it is the 7.7 .7 fluid ounce size. This is day 12. We have the Double Espresso Chiaro. I can't say that correctly, but it is a 2.7 fluid ounce and it is, I think it's like the second highest intensity after Scuro for the Double Espresso size. 13. So this is the Bianco Forte. This is also Barista Creations. It's made for milk as well, similar to the Bianco Doppio and Piccolo. So those are like the ones that replaced Bianco Forte and Bianco Leggero, I believe. So um, definitely a good one for milk. This one I do think is like pretty strong, but it does definitely mix well with milk. So it's a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce. 14. So this is Diavolita. This is the highest intensity of the single espressos. So if you like a strong latte, that's a great one, or a strong espresso by itself. Day 15. This is the flavored chocolate. So this is the Barista Creations for rich chocolate. Definitely a tasty one to try if you haven't. And that's one of the great things about the advent calendar, I feel like. It definitely, you know, is a little pricey at $55, but you get to try a lot of different pods and they release it for original line as well, if that's a machine that you have. So day 16, we have the Arondio. This is a Grand Lungo size, 5.7, I think, fluid ounces. Day 17, this is the Bianco Doppio that I mentioned for milk, uh, Barista Creations, it's a double espresso, and a 2.7 fluid ounce size. Day 18, this is the Costa Rica Grand Lungo size. I really like this one. It's just super great with just milk or some sugar as well, 5.7 fluid ounces. Day 19, Oh well, okay. We have the double espresso Scuro. So that's the one that I said is like the strongest double espresso. It's really not my favorite, but you know, every once in a while is okay. Day 20. This is the Columbia pod. It is a master origins line, which means I think all the beans come from like a specific area and it's a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce. So day 21, we have the Fortado Decaffeinado. So that's a Grand Lungo size and it'll be a decaf one. Something to mix it up, I suppose. Day 22, this is Mexico. So Mexico has some like, I feel like spiciness to it. If you like a coffee that is like that. It's also a Master Origins line and I think it's a coffee size, so that's a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce. And we have one more regular day and then the final day, so 23. This is the Fortado Grand Lungo size, so that's 5.7 fluid ounces. 
And then we have the final day. So usually there's a cup in here. And I have seen some spoilers of what the cup might be. So I hope it is right. The perforation is not the best on this, I'll say. Oh my goodness. So that's different. They packaged it a little differently this year where you really have to take it apart to get the cup. But it looks like you get a second one of these pods on day 24 and then I'll get the cup out as well so we can see what that looks like. But they do say festive black double espresso, a limited edition mug by Nespresso times Fusel. So it does come out pretty easily. Oh my goodness, this is super cute. I think there may have been like some complaints in the past about the packaging, so they definitely did a good job this year with packaging because you don't want your cup to come broken. So this is the cup. It's so pretty. It is a kind of unfinished stoneware on the outside, so like matte with like this pretty pattern that kind of matches almost the pattern on the pods this year if you look at it. And then the inside is like a finished ceramic. It's kind of an off. I don't know, like a peachy color, very pretty. I kind of wish they kept like some information in the advent calendars about like the collaboration they chose this year, which they did not do, but that's fine. So I guess that's the advent calendar for this year. I'm super excited about it. I am gonna do a quick little taste test of the three new pods. So stick around for that, but definitely let me know in the comments if you were able to snag the advent calendar in the US yet or in the UK. I know they get it as well and some other countries. We'll be right back. Okay, so I have the last one finishing up brewing, but here is the caramel nut. It definitely smells super good. And when it was brewing, you could definitely smell like the frosted caramelliness of it. I don't have the box. So I don't have like the description of what the notes are supposed to be. But it's definitely like super, super smooth. It's a strong coffee in my opinion. So it's not like super strong, but like on the stronger side of the spectrum, like middle to middle of strong. I don't know. Like seven, maybe. I'm just making that up though. So don't, don't hold me to it. That is good. This is the spiced one. I can't remember which day it was, but okay, so I don't remember like the exact name. It definitely has a little bit of fruitiness to it, which I don't think in the name they call out any fruitiness from what I recall, but you can, it smells like Christmas. Like it's well, almost like a cranberry, like spiciness, but I'm not even sure if that's the fruit that you're supposed to get from it. You definitely get those like spice notes and it's good and I like the smell too the smell is very sweet it doesn't taste super sweet but the smell is like a very sweet smell of like fruity whatever the fruit is supposed to be yeah these are winners these are really good um let's see what the double espresso tastes like this one doesn't have like a distinct smell like the other two very strong. I'll try some things with it, but it's definitely not like it doesn't stand out to me as something different. It's just like a strong double espresso to make your holiday drinks with and like a fun packaging. So, you know, that's a win, but I don't really taste anything different about it compared to like the two coffee pods. I know I saw online if you update your Nespresso next, or if you have like one of the new Nespresso pops, you have like a way where you can really easily program the pod to do smaller ones like do exactly like an espresso size or something like that from the size that it is so I might look into that for this and make it like a single espresso versus a double espresso it might even be fun to do for the holiday pods but I don't know if I want to waste them for that because I do like myself a big cup of coffee but yeah so I guess I'm not doing recipes right now with these or like adding any milk because I'm gonna save them it is the afternoon and i'm not going to finish all three coffees but i want to put them in the fridge try them maybe iced or something i'm definitely going to do dedicated videos for these so let me know what types of recipes you're interested in seeing for the new pods that we have this holiday season 
and thank you guys so much for watching if you're picking up your advent calendar comment down below and i will see you guys next time